German masters of the tight wire, the Brooksons. Horses and elephants presented by Tommy Roberts Jr. The stars of the Hungarian state circus, Fudi and Suzanne. And direct from Reno, Nevada, one of the world's greatest trapeze acts, the Flying Ramos. By Tommy Roberts Jr. Well, Tommy Roberts Jr. is 21 years old, and in the versatile tradition of his family, he trains all kinds of animals as well as presenting them. And with him in the ring now are the elephants, Baby and Rosie, who are both 12 years old, and the Appalachian horses, Shell and Duke. So it takes a lot of time and patience to persuade elephants and horses to work together, but uh, these four share the same stables, and uh, Woodbury Tommy says they're so used to each other that the elephants get very upset if the horses are moved out. baby and Rosie. Well, elephants may not be the most uh, elegant animals in the world, but when it comes to intelligence, Tommy tells me they leave horses far behind. Every new ring boy learns very fast that one thing you never do is question an elephant's right of way. if Bobby can't persuade this one to leave the ring. Tommy, I think he wants you to go first. And this time it features the Brooksons. 
The Brooksons are one of Germany's most famous circus families. The wire they work on, by the way, is very tight indeed, with a tension of five tons. That's 18-year-old Rudy Brookson. Well done. Carrying 25-year-old Johnny and making his first walk on the wire so far is Nancy's father, Hans Brookson, who's trained all the artists in this act. What a demonstration of balance this is. One foot and one hand. really a wonderful performance from the Brooksons. Their next trick requires both perfect balance and coordination and features Johnny attempting a backward somersault from the springboard to two man high on the tight wire. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brooksons! <laughs> Well, in circus, a single somersault to the wire is not uncommon, and of course it is difficult. However, the Brooksons are the only act in the world to dare to try one from a springboard. And for something so dangerous, the equipment, of course, has to be set up exactly right. The slightest misjudgment of wire tension or placing could have very unpleasant consequences for everyone involved. And Johnny goes out to test that the wire and, of course, the springboard feel just right. And this is calling on every ounce of Johnny's concentration. Spot on. Miss Nancy Brookson is the youngest lady artist to attempt this next particular trick. A head-to-head -head balance with her father. Up the steps, across the wire, and down the other side. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Nancy Brookson! Working together on the wire is much more difficult than working alone and needs absolutely exact timing. And of course, if one of them falls, then so does the other.
just look at that, no hands. And again, no hands. and skill are brought to us by the juggling stars of the Hungarian State Circus, Fudi and Suzanne. Fudi comes from an old Hungarian circus family and he started training as a juggler when he was nine. By 16, he was so good that he'd formed his own act and ever since, he's been starring in leading circuses, not just in Hungary, but worldwide. <laughs> Anyone can follow Foodie's act, it's probably his wife Suzanne, who trained as a ballet dancer but opted for the circus life instead. standards that was a virtuoso exhibition well juggling with two hands is hard enough with four it must be next to impossible says that the communication between himself and Suzanne is almost telepathic and it certainly looks that way. himself. He has a truly bewildering number of variations. And now 
now for another unusual test of Foodie's skill. He's going to try to catch and juggle with the club, however it's thrown at him. Try again. <laughs> Lady looking just a bit apprehensive there, it seems. Foodie certainly put all of himself into that performance and how the audience here have enjoyed it. And now from Reno, Nevada, one of the world's great flying trapeze act, the Flying Ramos. The last client of the platform is Sergio Ramos from Mexico, who is the star and trainer of this remarkable act. First to go is Sergio. Ramos had no connections at all with the circus as a child, though later she became a talented gymnast. Along with her husband, Sergio, she's getting ready now for a rarely seen and a very difficult double flight. Ramos will attempt the incredibly difficult triple somersault. Ladies and gentlemen, Sergio Ramos. Even today, the triple somersault is only performed by the very best trapeze artists, and as recently as 1969, when Sergio performed it for the first time, almost no other flyers have mastered it successfully. And even for someone as experienced as he now is, it remains as daunting a challenge as ever. Ladies and gentlemen, a trick unique to the Flying Ramos, a triple passage. Ladies and gentlemen, the Flying Ramos.
releasers getting up onto the higher bar to prepare for this unique series of runs. They'll involve all three artists in a complicated variation of flights that are as exacting as they're exciting. you won't see done by any other act in the world. The catcher, Oren Ludgren. And leading the descent is Lisa Herzl. Murray Ramos. Oren Ludgren. And Sergio Ramos. Let's meet them all once again. Good night. God bless.